Hi everyone, it's SCA. Um, I need to kind of be quiet. My mom's asleep, or trying to sleep. But I have this health psychology assignment, and it's to show us how hard it is for people who have multiple pill regimens, like HIV, heart disease, um, full-blown AIDS, and stuff like that. When you assign a person a lot of pills, sometimes they forget to take them, sometimes they don't take them at the right time, sometimes they take them with food when they're not supposed to, and that can get them potentially really, really sick. And sometimes you're thinking, oh, what a lazy person, how could you not do that? Well, to make sure we don't have that bias when we go into our field, um, she gave us a similar assignment. So we take pills, placebo pills. These are my placebo pills that she gave us, raisins, M&Ms, and Starburst. And here's the regimen that I have to follow. The raisins, you have to take two raisins by mouth every eight hours. They must be taken on an empty stomach, which means you cannot eat two hours before taking the raisins or the hour after consuming them. And you cannot take raisins within one hour of M&Ms. The Starburst have to be taken twice a day uh, once, one Starburst twice a day, and the doses have to be eight hours apart. They can be taken without food, however, because many people report nausea, it is highly recommended, which means we have to do it, to eat Starburst with food. The M&Ms, you have to take two by mouth at bedtime at the same time every day, and they must be taken on an empty stomach, so no, can't eat two hours before or the hour after having them. And they must, you have to wait at least one hour after raisins before taking M&M's. And you have to drink 48 ounces of water per day while taking M&M's. And that's about six glasses of water a day. Um, I can do that no problem. I tried double that. So water's not the problem with me. Um, and we had to create our own time regimen, which I have here, of how often we have to eat it, and then we have to do an essay that says, you know, what to do with that. So, uh, the how we worked with it, if we remembered uh, what gave us problems. Um, milk and juice count as food. So, you know, that two hours you can't eat, you can't have milk or juice because they have nutrients and vitamins in them. So that actually qualifies as food. So you can't have those. And... Um, also, we can't show anybody the pills. Like, when I say show, like, when we take them, we, nobody can see us take them. So we have to, like, do it in secret. Run to the bathroom or duck under a table, something like that. <sighs> Sorry, I was looking at the mirror over here. Um, but yes. So how I organize mine is I eat two raisins at 8 a.m. and then I can't eat until 9 a.m. Then I take a Starburst at 9 a.m. and I have to eat with I have to eat at that time. I have to take two raisins at 4 p.m. and I don't eat until 5, where I take another Starburst at 5. I take two M&Ms at 7, and then uh, two raisins at midnight. And we can just drink water anytime. We just have to make sure we get that per day. And so I have to do that every day. So I either have to wake up at midnight or stay up until midnight to take two raisins. Um, and I have to do this for five days. So um, I'm at work Friday and Saturday during these hours when I need to do this. And I'm in classes the rest of the time. And I can't let people see me. So... Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, but I kind I really don't like the assignment all that much because it's weird. I'm like, I'd die of HIV. All the organization and a lot of people who are on HIV and AIDS, they have like 9, 10, 12, like 14 medications that they're on that have these kind of rules to them where you can't eat here. You have to wait an hour. You have to wait five hours. And they have to do that every day, every week. They have to count their pills and all that sort of thing. Um, and so I just thought I would share that with you just because I thought it was kind of a cool but crazy assignment.
in here just to show you how hard it is. And so, hopefully I can do this. I have a feeling that if I actually had these, like I said, I'd probably die. <laughs> Not good with organization. Um, bye!